also a member of Not On Our Watch. Not On Our Watch, we are here today to express our concern with the actions of you all, okay, the Minneapolis Board of Directors here, um, as relates to the rewarding of the contract to Community Standards Initiative, CSI. And every, it's all, everybody should be familiar with it. It's been in the paper. Although the $375,000 contract was recently terminated by NPS, that does not end the issue with us. Questions remain regarding why the contract was ever awarded in the first place to an organization which, by its own admission, was not equipped to do the work. Amen. Amen. CSI Fiscal Agent Clarence Hightower stated in his stated his organization does not have the capacity to fulfill the overall goals and object, objectives in its contract with the Minneapolis Public Schools. Moreover, the superintendent's leadership team recommended that CSI not be awarded the contract due to concerns about quality of the program and the capacity of CSI to deliver the programming it proposed. In fact, the superintendent was warned that there was no clear evidence that CSI can articulate or demonstrate what they will be doing in our schools. I said our schools. Even with significant support from several MPS staff throughout the whole process of trying to put this bogus contract together. Well, okay? Now, we demand the following actions. One, an independent audit to account for how the 47, around or about $47,000 that you have already given to CSI. Well, how, yes. We want a full accounting as to how that money was spent. Woo yes. Woo -hoo. As taxpayers. We deserve that and we demand that and we will get it. Yes. Well, you're okay. right. Okay, be here. That's not a get threat. It. That's a promise. Okay? I Number two. You. Public disclosure of, of all CSI reports submitted to MPS in connection with the contract. That means your meetings that you've had, you know, the memos that go out. We want public disclosure of all CSI reports submitted to MPS. We want public disclosure of the proposal that was submitted to MPS by CSI, which led to the awarding of the contract. And I will end with this. The public, us, Minneapolis, North Minneapolis, we are entitled to transparency, accountability, and ethical behavior from its public institutions and elected officials. And guess what, folks? You haven't seen the last of my face. years or more. 
Something is wrong with that picture. Yeah. Yes. How is it that we spend $21,000 a year per child? That is more than it cost for one year of law school back when I went. And yet when we look at the statistics and we see that our children are barely proficient, less than 5% proficiency in science in a place like Lucy Lane, how is that acceptable? And again, when we raise our voices, we are told that we need to wait or we're figuring it out or we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. We don't want to go through the rest of 2014 with business as usual. It's time for you all as leaders to step up to the plate and to hold yourselves accountable. Hold yourselves accountable. Stop making excuses and start educating our babies. Thank you. That's right. Loyalty, obedience, and care is how I expect you guys to govern. Loyalty, obedience, and care.